Hello, welcome to the vlog. Um, hopefully this one's going to be uh, a pretty exciting vlog. We are really, really, really excited to have been sent uh, a new product from EcoFlow. Uh, this product is released on the 25th of October um, and it is the new EcoFlow River 2. Now, we've reviewed recently several high capacity 1,500 watt output um, units. This unit is the baby of the range. Um, it is a 300 watt output um, unit and well let's have a look. Let's find out what it's all about. So the EcoFlow River 2. Let's have a look. Now I have cut, cut the box already. <coughs> Packaging. Uh, uh, delivery notes. Instruction manual. Very important. I need to read that. The unit itself. Oh, it's tiny. Uh, the unit itself is absolutely tiny. Wow. Really, really impressed. <laughs> Straight away. So, for a 300 watt unit, mains plug and a car charger plug. Let's lose the box. Ooh. So, what do we know? This is, has got to be the smallest 300 watt unit I've ever seen. And it is so unbelievably light. I mean, unbelievably light. Right, so the unit itself, this is the 300 watt unit. Um, as per normal, I'm having to read this because I'll never, never, ever remember it. it using Xtreme, the fast charging, it will go from 0 to 100% in under one hour. That is five times faster than any of the competitors out there. So that's got to be a massive, massive thumbs up. Uh, Tech, the series, River Series 2, it's got it all. Um, it's got LFP battery chemistry. Uh, as it's at its core, um, and you can charge it 3,000 times, 3,000 times. That's just before you're going to notice any difference in the, uh, the degradation of the battery. Um, as I say, from, uh, from zero to 100% on an AC wall charger, you're looking at an hour. Um, a Type C charger, three to six hours. Solar charging, not to hundred percent, three to six hours. And car charging, three to seven hours. Um, this, I has, has got to be a game changer. It's got to be a total game changer. So, I'll tell you what, let's power it on and see how much charge it has in it. I'm assuming it's not going to come with a lot of charge, but I am wrong. I'm wrong. It's got 90, it's got 46%. 46% charge. So, um, the other thing is you can connect this to the app. Um, I'll show you this connected to the app at some point and what you can do. Um, but the best thing is, is to see what this can, uh, what this can power. What can it do? What will the boost allow you to do? So let's find a few things and go from there. Right, um, I've connected this up to Lisa's hairdryer. This is a bit brutal. This is a 2000 watt hairdryer. Now, I have got no idea. I know the X boost will allow this to run to 600 watt. Yeah, to 600 watts. So this is going to be brutal. It's going to go one or two ways. So we'll start it off with just the cool air only, then we'll take it up to halfway, which is pulling, I think it's about 600 
watts. It might be less, um, but the X Boost works magics, and I'm hoping it's going to power it. So here we go. So this is cold. That's cold air. Uh, right, let's just try this. Here we go. I can't actually. So the the speed has dropped, but there that is hot. That is hot. So let's have a look. See what the actual. So that says three hundred and twelve watts, and the fan has kicked in. But that is powering a two thousand watt hair dryer on low setting. I am not. Um, I don't feel it's going to power it on full power. Let's give it a go. I'm really, I'm impressed with this. No, there you go. So that's not that straight out, but it will power it quite happily at and yeah, so that will power that quite happily at half power using X Boost. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Right, let's try something else. Right, laptop, MacBook. Um, I haven't powered this up for a few weeks and the battery's not brilliant, so I'm going to just power this on, see what happens. Do we get any, do we get anything? Ah, how are we doing? Yes, we've got a green, we've got a charge, we've got a charging light. Let's give this a go. Are we powering on? Yes, we are. How brilliant is that? Here we go. It's powered up. And is it charging? Well, we've got a charging light on. Yeah, we have got an orange charging light on. So that's doing that. Let's find something else. Let's bring in the, let's bring in the iPad. Now, um, this has got USB-C charging, um, which I am told is bi-directional. So we can quite happily charge through it as well so let's see what happens here i've been on a teams meeting for quite look at that on and charging brilliant hmm what else what else stand by i'll be back right so at the moment we have the ipad we have the iMac we have my work phone charging we have the screen for the GoPro charging and we are pulling the grand total of 36 watts um, I am just astounded with this this little bit of kit um, what I'm really astounded about is the fact it can run a hairdryer. Um, so I think our next test, as we have done with every single one of these, is to put something in a cook, put, cook pot, the slow cooker, and see how that fares up. To do that, I'm going to have to fully charge it. So we'll unplug all this, we'll fully charge it, and when you come back, we will be doing something in the slow cooker. Um, this is now up to 100%, so I'm gonna switch that off, so it's now no longer charging. We the dog's, here. The this dog's here as well. Um, and what we're gonna do, we won't bore you with the actual uh, cooking, 
uh, or time lapsing or anything like that. We're going to set this going, tell you what the time is, and then we'll come back to it when it's actually gone flat, and we'll see how cooked it is. So, I have a watch on. You this have is a watch a on. Do you, the time. do you want to? Quarter past seven. Shall we? What are we chucking in first? Sauce in first. Sauce in first. So sauce in first. Okay. This Obviously, one. this is not affecting the actual. Um, it's not switched on yet, is it? No, it's not switched on yet. And we'll see that oh. the minute it switches on, we'll see it as the top comes off and goes all over the new eco flow. <laughs> that did not happen, did it? No, it didn't. Then, the vegetables that you prepared earlier. Yeah. You were the hunter gatherer, you went out and got those. I hunted and gathered them. So, well, that looks nice. Then, for a bit of protein, we're going to put some corn in as well, aren't we? Yeah, corn as in corn mince, not corn as in corn on the cob. Yeah, well, what kind of where you come from, Roger? Corn on the cob is called corn, and this is corn. Corn. The Q. Corn. So, as you can see, we've got the, I've got the GoPro running. This is absolutely no current being drawn at the moment. I'm going to just power on the AC supply now, which is on. There's still no current being drawn. Just making sure this is all covered in sauce. Yeah. So that nothing goes dry. It smells good, it's not even started cooking. That's the Mediterranean vegetables. Yeah. Well, I think that's enough. Right. Okay. Do you want to put it onto high, and we'll see what happens? Oh, there's the lid. Excuse me. The lid is here, and onto high. So. So. Oh. One hundred and seven watts on high. Is that making that noise? Then? That is it. I mean, it is the tiniest of little hums, isn't it? Yeah, and it is, it's, as you saw earlier, I picked that up with my little finger. So, um... You've been practicing? I did. I picked it with my little finger. Is it that light, is it? It is so light, it's untrue. I wonder if they took notice of our criticism as um, we were trying to lift these things. This is only a 300 watt unit. A baby one. A baby one. Um, Everything that we've sort of recently reviewed has been a thousand, thousand five hundred watt. Um, and I know a lot of you have asked if we can review something really chunky, um, something you can put in the back of your uh, camper van or motor home and be off grid for a long period of time. Um, we've not been given the opportunity yet, but we're hoping that a company out there will look to at some point give us a a two, three, four, five, six kilowatt unit for us to try, uh, which we'll try not only on an, on the in the camper van but on the boat. So we have a significantly larger scope of it, then, will we? Yeah, we will do. We will do. This well, is it's just for the. I we mean, used, this, we used that great big. Um, I cooked out in a field, didn't I? On yeah. the great big one. Yeah. So you used the um, you used the pan, didn't you? Mm. The, electric, the electric prime pan. But you could use that as a slow cooker. You could, you could. Right, it says we've got two hours. The time is now quarter past seven. We'll come back to you when that goes flat. Um, remembering that this will automatically go from high to low, high to low, um, and turn off as needed. So. Fully charged, put in 106, two hours, quarter past seven in the evening. We'll come back to you when there's more. Right, we're at 1%. Uh, this has been cooking lovely. We've actually got, it was quarter past seven when we started. It's now 25 to 11. So... Through cutting in and out, 
There we go. Through cutting in and out, we are now completely flat and it has stopped. Um, and as you can see, absolutely bubbling away lovely. So, can you cook a meal in the slow cooker with the 300 watt EcoFlow River 2? Yes, you can. Would it cook root vegetables? I don't know. Um, I think it would. I think it would definitely cook root vegetables. Whether they'd be completely cooked, I don't know. It's an amazing bit of kit, it really is. So overall, if you're gonna use this in your camper van, in your caravan, on your boat, while camping, this little thing here is gonna provide you with enough power. If you're using solar, using solar panels to top up, you can go out for the day, it will quite happily, four to six hours, on a mains, uh, on a mains charge, an hour, an hour. So I mean, I'm gonna switch this on now to charge. And um, within the hour, this will go from flat to fully charged. Um, links to this amazing little bit of kit are below. Um, please comment if any of you have, have or are getting one of these. Give us some feedback. Tell us what you think. Tell us um, tell us if we're right. Um, but the amount of times this thing can be charged, how quickly it, it charges, how compact it is, how um, how much, 600 watts, 300 watts, 600 watts with the X boost. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we will be using this um, for our short weekends away uh, and I have no doubt we'll be using this on the boat as well so at the moment it's now charging it's three, charging at 310 watts um, and it says 58 minutes we're already back up to two percent which uh, in the minute we've been speaking is is just brilliant so hopefully you found this um, useful if you have then give us a thumbs up. Um, if you don't already, please subscribe. Uh, and above all, ring that bell for notifications. Look at the links in the description below. Hope you found this informative and we'll be back in our next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.